Hey everyone, welcome back to the King Shaka Customs channel for another video. Now if you notice in today's video, I'm not in my usual setting. I'm actually um, inside now, I'm not in the garage like I usually am filming these videos. And today's gonna be more of one of those videos where I just talk back and uh, forth to the camera. Me basically just having a, an open thought uh, with the camera, even though it's not much of a back and forth, but um, I do I do read the comments and everything. So um, I'm hoping that if you have some insightful feedback or, or some opinions on today's video that you do leave them down there in the comment. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about the Harbor Freight Inside Track Club. Um, now, if you don't know what the Inside Track Club is, it's, it's a membership to Harbor Freight, um, which is a tool store. Hopefully if you've, you've heard of it, hopefully if you're watching this video, you know what that is. But it's, it's a tool store where they sell a, a variety of different tools, usually at cheaper prices. And the membership is something that um, you can purchase to uh, sort of get better deals on top of the already uh, pretty cheap prices overall. So um, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And uh, like I said, I welcome all comments, whatever you guys wanna say or whatever your opinion is, on the Inside Track Club, definitely go down there and uh, leave that in the comments down there because I'll definitely read that. I'll, I'll take the time to read each comment if you have some opinions on it. But uh, I'm gonna just give me my opinion and uh, whether I think that this membership is worth it. And I'm gonna break it down for you uh, for what I've used it for and for what I think other people should use it for to get the most use out of it. So to start off with, I have been part of the Inside Track Club for about five or so months now and i have very few complaints with it overall it has been very good to me and i have definitely got my money's worth out of that membership now to start it off of course there's two different memberships if you've been researching um, and you've been wondering whether it's worth it or not there's two different memberships there's a one-year membership for thirty dollars and there's also a two-year membership for forty five dollars now with the purchase of either of them you get a $10 gift card to Harbor Freight. So basically, to start it off, you, you get a $10 back um, with the purchase of either or the renewal of either, which will bring me to my first big point of whether it's worth it um, or which one you should go for. In my opinion, you should go for the one-year membership because the two-year membership, uh, if you do the math, is $45. And uh, every two years you go to renew it, you get $10 off. So you subtract that $10, it's about $35 said and done um, with that gift card. And then about the, the one year membership, every time you renew it, you get a $10 gift card. So if you do the math and then you have a uh, $30 fee for the first year and then a $30 fee for the second year, that turns out to be $60. But in return, you get two $10 gift cards, um, which turns out to be $40. Uh, back. So with that math there, you can see it's 40 versus 35 in the long run with those gift cards included. Um, and to me, it seems more worth it to pick the first year because you never know what's going to happen. Um, if, if you're going to want to actually put the money into it the second year or whatever, it's, it's for the five bucks. It, to me, it's more worth it to have my money in my pocket um, to do those those memberships separate um, year by year and, and take it year by year basis, basically. But I would stick with the one year membership to start off um, because like I said, it's only a $5 difference if you do the math with the gift cards. And that turns out to be a pretty good deal to select the, uh, the one year membership. And then after you select a membership, of course you get exclusive coupons per month. In reality though, they're not even coupons. They're just discounts that uh, get included in the uh, receipt on your purchase that comes up and it automatically deducts. Uh, whatever the the item was that you purchased. So to start that off, that's an excellent feature because you don't have to sit there cutting out all those coupons out of their catalog. So in that aspect, absolutely worth it. It's, uh, it's a huge time saver in the checkout line. And uh, you kind of never know what you're gonna get every month. Um, there's something different on that catalog. And uh, a lot of people go around and they say that those items are the smallest items that you probably never buy. but um, to be honest, in my own experience, some of those items have been pretty big, um, pretty big to, to purchase, but also pretty big to save money on. Um, and they're not just random tools or whatever that you'll, you'll use once in a lifetime um, and never use again to save the, the $3 or whatever it is on it. Um, these are tools, some of them that you can use every day. For example, I bought um, with my membership, I bought a welder from there, uh, which has actually been 
very good to me. Um, it's been very good quality. Doesn't seem like junk at all. I know Harbor Freight has that bad rap with some of their stuff that's a complete junk, but um, the welder I bought, I bought a Vulcan welder and uh, it has been excellent. And I saved $100 on that. So right there, um, I, I made money back on that with that membership. So it did pay off in that aspect. And I also bought the 1,000 pound lift table cart, that little cart with the handle that you can move around and um, that has been great to me too. I saved a lot of money on that with a deal. And even if it's not a large scale item, let's just say something small. There's been times where there's been just random tools that I would never have bought. And uh, I go in there and it's a good deal and then I do buy it and then I actually use the tool a lot. So things like that, you just save money on them. Um, and it actually, if you do the math and you actually shop there more than once a year, uh, it does pay back. So it is worth it. Um, if you're considering that, that membership, uh, I was at one point and I was kind of on the fence, but um, to be considering that membership, I think in the first place, you really have to be in that spot um, where you actually go to the store often. And uh, most likely if you're considering the membership, I'm gonna say that you go to the store enough to, to make your money back on that membership um, and to make that $30 on that one year membership worth it. So with that said, I wanna keep this video relatively short. This membership I would say is definitely worth it. And I have some advice for you if you're on the edge about whether you wanna go um, and spend the money on the membership. If you're gonna spend the money on the membership, I would evaluate what your main goals are in, in using that $30 to purchase that membership. If you're just gonna go there once a year, um, then probably not, don't buy it. But I, what I would do is I would think about things that you need in your shop, in your garage, or whatever you're using their tools for. I would really think about what you need um, that would cost a lot of money. Uh, so for example, there's toolboxes there, something like that, that costs a lot of money. If you're gonna get a welder or something, they do promotional sales all throughout the year and uh, they'll do a sale where let's just say it's 20% off. Um, Inside Track Club will get 25% off. That's just an example, but they do things like that where the Inside Track Club gets an extra 5% off or something like that. And uh, that makes a lot of a difference. Um, if you, if you have one of those key items on your list, uh, you can just plan on that being for sale sometime during the year where it's gonna help you make your money on that membership. So if you have a list of things that you want to get throughout the year or that they're future purchases that you're definitely interested in getting, like for me, it was the welder, um, totally, they are, it, it's worth it. And um, I knew that that was gonna be on sale and I waited to buy it and it came up actually on a sale and uh, I saved 100 bucks. So those are the examples that you should have in mind if you're gonna spend the money. Think about tools that you need and think about if you're gonna purchase those in the next year. And I think that this membership will be very rewarding to you after you do purchase it because um, I have made a lot more money back on top of the membership that I paid because I do shop there frequently um, in the garage. I use a bunch of tools and there are things that I need and when I look at the catalog, if they come up, then I figure it's a good time to buy them and save a couple bucks. So, so that's pretty much my point of view on that membership. There's one thing I don't like about the membership, and that is that some of the items on there, like the low-key items that you never would buy, uh, I see them come up on their catalog, and they're discounted less than 20%, which is kind of disappointing because that's just a waste to me on the catalog. You can go and just get a 20% off coupon on one of those uh, random items that's not excluded and uh, you can just use a 20% off coupon with no membership. You can get the same deal or if not better, if the discount is lower. So that's the one thing that I really don't like about it because it seems like whoever's making those uh, discounts doesn't really think that through, but um, that has been a, a big thing with some of those small items where they don't seem to correlate with making sense on just using a 20% off coupon, but it's pretty much my only complaint with it. Other than that, absolutely great. But I hope that you guys can use this video as informational and make your decision. I think that if you're in the position of even trying to make a decision, then I would assume you would shop there um, more than enough. To be even be in the ballpark and making the decision, I think um, you, should just, you should just go ahead and do it because it, it does pay itself back, especially with the $10 off gift card too. I mean, you're basically getting 10 bucks back right there. So um, that's a pretty good deal. So with that said, I just wanted to get this video out and know I have been pushing back this other video, the shorty dually video, which if you guys are new to the channel, I have an F-350 I made a shorty dually out of and uh, I've been kind of teasing my subscribers that I've been trying to get this video out. Of course, we're getting snow tomorrow. I just finished the truck today, so filming it 
it's going to be a disaster with the snow. So um, I figured I just wanted to get a video out, and this came up on my mind. So um, I wanted to get it out to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, leave all your comments down below or your opinions or whatever you got to say about Harbor Freight or the Inside Track Club. I think it'd be helpful not only to me, but also to other people um, if you have opinions or experiences with it. So that said, have a good night, and I will see you in the next video.